Hi everyone, this is Dr. Rahul Haware from the channel Ask Applying Scientific Knowledge. I welcome you in this sixth video of Rheology where we are going to talk about kinematic viscosity. If you guys have missed our previous videos, I am giving you a link of those videos in the description box below. So please do check to get a continuity of the topic. So as you can see here, we do have a portrait of a famous British mathematician Sir Isaac Newton from 16th century. So what does it mean? It means that when we are talking about the kinematic viscosity, it is associated with the Newtonian liquids. When we are talking about the kinematic viscosity, it is associated with the Newtonian liquids. So let's dig into more in the kinematic viscosity of Newtonian liquids in next couple of slides. So this is the formula of kinematic viscosity, eta divided by density. And what is the eta? Well, in case of Newtonian liquids, we have seen that it is absolute viscosity. And what is the rho? It is the density of a liquid at fixed temperature. And that's very important. And as you know that viscosity is dependent on the temperature and there is a inversely proportional relationship between viscosity and temperature. And we'll be digging into it more in next video. So when you are measuring the kinematic viscosity, you have to keep temperature constant. You have to keep temperature constant. And when you are reporting the kinematic viscosity, you have to report the temperature. At what temperature you have to measure the viscosity. So let's dig into the units of kinematic viscosity. They are strokes or centric strokes. And what is the stroke? It is a gram centimeter inverse second inverse uh, into centimeter square and gram inverse so that gram and gram it goes away the centimeter it will it's a cube i suppose it goes away and we have like centimeter square and second so by the way why we are getting centimeters cube into gram inverse well what is the density well density is mass divided by volume and what is the mass well, mass is always in centimeter cube, not always, but how you measure centimeter cube divided by gram. And that's why it comes here. Okay. And this is the viscosity, which we have measured. So what is the unit of viscosity? Well, these are the units of viscosities, isn't it? Which we have seen in our previous video. So we know that this is called a stroke and one stroke is equal to 0.01 centi strokes. So this guy is coming from the viscosity. Again, I'm repeating and this guy is coming from density. Let me rub it out. So now, so this is the question I was always asking to my student. What will be the kinematic viscosity of denser liquid? And kinematic viscosity is equal to eta divided by density. So density is at denominator. So higher the value of density, lower the value of kinematic viscosity, isn't it? So if you have two liquids, one liquid is denser than another liquid and both of course Newtonian liquids and if you measure their viscosity at same temperature, the denser liquid will have less kinematic viscosity. So let's talk more about now how we are going to measure the viscosity, kinematic viscosity. We are using Oswald pipettes for measuring this viscosity and this method is official it is reported in the United States Pharmacopoeia and there are different types of Oswald pipettes and you can select those Oswald pipettes depending on how much time liquid takes to flow from one point to another point and it should follow that particular criteria to select that particular Oswald uh, pipette for measuring the viscosity. One more important thing, you are always keeping these viscometers in water bath to maintain the constant temperature okay so you have to maintain the constant temperature with the help of water bath and by that way you are measuring the viscosity and there are in these uh, measurements what you are doing you are choosing two liquids liquid a and liquid b and liquid a is like a reference liquid and liquid b is an unknown liquid whose viscosity you want to measure and reference liquid i have generally used water distilled water because its viscosity is known it's very well reported in the literature and you can compare the viscosity of unknown liquid with known liquid like water distilled water and you can calculate the kinematic viscosity of unknown liquid if you know the density of that liquid and if you know the time <coughs> required for that liquid to flow 
from one point to another point and that you will be measuring experimentally so let me rub it out again so what i mean here let me draw the picture so here is the bulb and you are filling this with that particular liquid so point a to point b so how much time liquid takes to go from point a to point b and that time you are measuring in the seconds okay and that's the unknown and you are doing same thing with your known liquid whose density is known and then you are plugging those values in this equation and you are getting the kinematic viscosity of your unknown newtonian liquid so let's dig into more about how to calculate the kinematic viscosity so i am taking one example in next slide this is the example a liquid of unknown viscosity with a density of 0.786 gram per centimeter cube passes through the oswald pipette in 45 seconds a liquid with density of 0.997 gram per centimeter cube passes through the pipette in 100 seconds and has a viscosity of 0.8904 cm cps so what is the viscosity of unknown liquid clearly we have two liquids liquid a and liquid b so let's say liquid a is unknown and liquid b is known so what i generally do when i am solving anything i just find out what is given and what is not given so let's start with liquid a so in case of liquid a what is given well its density is given delta a sorry rho a 0.786 g per cm cube what is given the time of liquid a how much time it takes to flow or to go from one point point a to point b and that's 45 seconds now in case of liquid b what is given we need of course three parameters we need the kinematic viscosity of liquid b what is that 0.8904 cps we need density of liquid b which is 0.997 grams per cm cube and time for liquid b what is that 100 seconds so this is the formula and a is equal to rho a t a and divided by eta b i should not say n it's a eta a divided by eta b is equal to rho a times t a divided by rho b t b and what we have to calculate we have to calculate the kinematic viscosity of liquid a so eta a we are interested to calculate so what i will do i will just this cross multiplication what i call eta b times rho a times t a divided by rho b times t b and here i will just plug those values 0.89 04 that's the viscosity of liquid b now what is the density of liquid a well 0.786 into time required is 45 seconds divided by what is the rho b well that's the density of liquid b 0.997 times 100 and if you will calculate everything you will get the value of rho b 0.316 cps that's the way you will calculate the kinematic viscosity and this is very powerful weapon and where are you using when you are making let's say solutions sterile solutions you need to measure or uh, i solutions or uh nasal solutions you will be using this viscosity very widely to optimize your formulation so on this note i'm stopping my video if you enjoy this video please consider subscribing our channel and share with your friends and also press this bell icon for the latest updates about our videos and stay safe and stay curious see you in the next video thank you